Hello, welcome and welcome back. This is Jacob and today we are going to be continuing the Let's Play for Reavers 1999. And I will not lie when I say, considering my usual style of content on the channel, I am struggling every time I try to say Let's Play, I'm trying to say something else <laughs> at the beginning of this. This took a couple of retries. Let's put it this way. But yeah, hi guys. It's time to continue this Let's Play in this part 2. But before we do so, like I said, I have a couple of shoutouts to give, and I mean a couple. Uh, but also, guys, thank you very, very much. Like I said, this whole thing, this Let's Play style of uh, stuff on the channel is uh, gonna be... It's still gonna be a bit of a experiment to see how it does, but I am very happy to see that you guys are... Uh, looking forward to seeing me to play through this game, uh, to see this journey through this Let's Play, and uh, how I'm gonna be reacting to the story. Be it you guys are new to the story or uh, are veterans, because I think most of you are veterans to this story from what I gauge from the comments. But yeah, thank you very much for all the positive responses and uh, replies and uh, the likes and everything. That means a lot and gives me a lot of, well, enthusiasm to uh, keep on going with the series. You know, positive vibes, <laughs> as, 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 uh, as one would say. But yeah, thank you very much. And uh, now to the shoutouts. I have two specific, uh, two specific commenters to shout out, and uh, it's funny that I'm doing it, at, or rather I am doing it specifically uh, for two people individually because they are pretty much... The perfect term would be, it's balanced as all things should be. <laughs> What do I mean by that? Well, first comment comes from, and man oh man, your name is always a... <laughs> always a joy to pronounce. Uh, at ZMFG uh, Ruffle Mao 1337 and to summarize, because you left a couple of very long comments, basically your comments were based around the lore, the character stories, uh, what is voiced, what is not voiced, uh, where to find it, anecdotes, uh, newspaper little uh, snippets and stuff like that, and uh, much, much more. I really appreciate all of that, and uh, yeah, thank you very much. You also left me a separate comment that was uh, a suggestion if I want to see the character trailer for Sonetto, because that one specifically covers apparently the bus ride that was mentioned between her and uh, Burton at the end of the previous part of this Let's Play. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be watching that right before we head into properly the story and everything today. Uh, so count that as a blind react. I've only seen the first 10 seconds of that just to just to get the volume uh, sorted out for the recording. But outside of that, I have no idea what it's about. It's short, so I'm cool with that. That's gonna be it's gonna be uh, a little fun thing to do before we head into the story. So thank you, thank you very much. And I'm gonna keep calling you Rufflecopter. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to say. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but yeah, the other comment, to balance things out, comes from uh, at the epic one 5285 And why is this balancing it out? Because this comment, uh, again a long one, has been pretty much about all the little technical aspects from the menus and character stats and uh, the explanation to the entire... Well, the naming, rather, of the entire element wheel as I'm gonna keep on probably calling it uh, so beast intelligence yada yada uh, all of that stuff I'm still probably <laughs> I'm still gonna probably call it uh, fire water earth and so on because that th those colors uh, are that's just what my brain associates it I've played too many games that have an elemental wheel uh, where each element beats another one and uh, that's just what's ingrained in my brain. <laughs> But yeah, you went into a lot of details as well about the technical aspects, about the menus, uh, what POS means and stuff like that. So thank you, thank you very much for that. And uh, like I said, if you guys have uh, more stuff that you can point out to me, just like those two comments were, I would really appreciate it. Uh, especially if it's like we're just gonna, about what we're about to watch. Uh, Stuff like that I will really appreciate, because if I include it in these episodes, it just enhances the entire Let's Play. Like I said, I like to do this same stuff in the Arknet stuff, where I include... Uh, over there I include operator records or files that uh, they post on Twitter that don't appear in game, or stuff uh, like from char entire character files even. But um, yeah, if there is a... 
officially released trailer or something like that that fits in well into like a story segment that we just went through through the very episode and I can start in the next episode with that uh, just leave it in the comment section below tell me what exactly it's called and I will go out and find it and if I don't forget it if I don't forget it once I'm done recording this I'm gonna probably over on my discord for that's for both this channel and the twitch shenanigans essentially um, I'm gonna be opening up a reverse uh, section with a couple of fields, one of which will be uh, a field where you guys can leave me uh, specifically like uh, links to stuff or suggestions to, hey, take a look at this, maybe considering that was part of previous episode, yada yada. Uh, so uh, we can easily keep track of stuff and I can pin stuff and uh, so on and so forth. Hopefully I will not forget to do that after I'm done recording, because <laughs> uh, I would like to have a place essentially where we can uh, much much easier keep track of all that but anyway we have a thing to watch before we head into our part today and to do that properly I will mute the uh, game and uh, let's begin I have no idea what this is about however the YouTube stuff is kind of maybe potentially spoiling me about something at the end <laughs> I have no idea what that is uh, but yeah, let's let's begin. Let's see this bus ride. Cold, white lamps, and lies like a slow-moving river, mm. barred with silver and black. The world they described in newspapers and poems is quite different from what I've imagined. Sonato, do you like the world out there? No, I'm just being curious. <laughs> We should not pay too much attention to affairs irrelevant to our missions. Sustaining peace <laughs> Jane and the welfare of mankind are the purposes we should focus on as foundation. Oh yeah, that's her skin. And also the reason why we have practiced arcane skills day after day. You remember their teachings well. Here we are. Timekeeper, we have arrived 59 minutes and 33 seconds earlier than expected. <laughs> Oh, she's a nerd, I love it. That gives us some time to chill out. The stars tonight are fascinating. Hmm? The stars? Hmm? Aww. The stars sparkling in the sky. The evening breeze blowing through the strolling crowd. Do they also have a purpose to fulfill? Hmm. Pretty. Oh Sorry. god. Is the coin you gave me before we got on the bus? Hmm? Uh you didn't pay the bus fare? Oh god. I need to pay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see. I see why um, that last segment was highlighted. <laughs> uh, one thing though, hold on, let me just bring bring this up very quickly. Nope, shut up. Uh, I will not lie. The moment I saw the coin, the moment I saw this stupid little coin, this right here, the first thing, and this is this is only gonna mean anything for anybody who is who has ever played through the Legend of Heroes games, specifically through Cold Steel. That game series has given me PTSD of silver coins, especially if a number fifty is imprinted on them. For those of you who do know what I mean by that, you know. For those of you who don't know what I mean by that, be happy. <laughs> God, every time that game brings up anything to do with 50 Mira, I, I get PTSD immediately. It's uh, it's not fun. <laughs> uh, that game series made me, made me spooked of money. Anyway, let's proceed into our thing for today. Now, number one, and that was, I think, one of the things that was brought up. There are certain things that popped up here that I didn't see originally, which is, I think, extra stuff. So, let's see what this is. 
This is from stage one again. No, those little brats are knocked out. You notice that old gum sticking to the bottom of their shoes, like crushed leeches. Holy shit, what is that voice? <clears throat> uh, what color is the gum? What happened to the gum? What gum? I don't care. Huh? <laughs> what? What the fuck? Uh, the, opportun the opportunist and the sticky gum. Now those little brats are knocked out. Oh god. Uh huh. Oh wait 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 wait. This is after the fight with the kids, right? Now those little brats are knocked out. You notice that the old gum sticking to the bottom of their shoes, like crushed leeches. <laughs> what happened to the gum? What color is the gum? Uh. What happened to the gum? Tragedy. A sympathetic encounter. It has fulfilled its mission cautiously and conscientiously. But clearly, no one cares. Who the hell is this narrator? I dare say it's the most popular mint gum now. When the Chicagoans lost their rights to get drunk, they could only turn to this nasty upstart stuff damn <laughs> what <laughs> the sales champion is the bubblegum machine near Wrigley Field the old gum on the kids souls also comes from there uh huh some gravel mixed into the squeezed gum base the off white sand the synthetic waxed elastic fiber in the south bank there is only one place where such a politically symbolic floor is laid. St. Pavlov Foundation. Oh, the... Um, the synthetic waste elastic fiber in the South Bank, there is only one place where such a po politically symbolic floor is laid. Uh-huh. Okay. It's very lively here in the square. Just like every day in the past. <clears throat> Speculators who advocate mankind's supremacy are trying to get the attention of the Foundation through demonstrations. Mm hmm About the tension between arcanists and uh, regular humans. Also, I wanna, do want to point out, I kind of kinda started to pick up that, uh, considering in this world, people who can wield magic, I guess, arcanists, are kind of at odds with regular regular people. Kind of gives me, well, not necessarily Harry Potter vibes because in Harry Potter people would hide themselves. The magic people would hide themselves from regular people, but kind of falls into that category, I guess. There's probably a better, better universe to compare it to, but kind of kind of reminds me of it. They are on the same side as the Foundation. But the Foundation has no intention to treat these protesters as allies and give them what they want. They even sent a little girl to go through the motions as a perfunctory response. Ah, uh, who are you? Who are these... I guess because of the placement of this thing, are these people who were eavesdropping on us? So two people having a conversation, little girls? An excellent topic. Yes, yes, no one will ever ignore them. They are honey-colored. They are the morning sun in California. They are the dazzling spot on the dough that you'll never catch. B what? For those hypocritical politicians, the little girls are the delicacies that they would drool over. Ugh. Luckily, this little girl is not one of their prey. Ugh. I, I hate how that was worded. She is nervous, but not panicked. She doesn't seem to be good at dealing with these slick politicians. The mission capsule of the Foundation grew hot in her tightly clutched fist. Uh-huh. And on the other side of the square, another little girl in a black suit is looking over here gloomily. She stood by the Foundation's air outlet, the best place for her. Uh-huh. 
A position that is too marginal to be further marginalized. That's the best portrayal of the second generation immigrants in the 20th century. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay. Tell me about that foundation girl. Who's the girl in black suit? Who's the girl in the black in a black suit? She's someone you will know in the future. Okay, this makes me very interested to know who the who the hell these two are who are talking. No, she shudders and shivers like a cricket desperate for shelter. She's looking for an eve or a piece of rubble in the storm. Her figure might be frail, but her eyes are filled with cold anger. Maybe she had been rejected just now, or even insulted. She walked up to the square center with firm step, like a warrior. Uh-huh. She had to perform another task she didn't like. And at this moment, the capsule in the hand of the ad hoc representative of the Foundation dropped under the push of the crowd. Uh-huh. This is a good chance. She feels a hot wind from Africa blow towards Trapani. Uh-huh. The whole of Sicily becomes dry, warm, and comes alive. The air smells like tropical corals and wild oranges. Mmm. Okay, this is about that. She did say that she smelled something orange flavored in the air, but then dismissed it. That wind is never supposed to be part of this cold winter. Mm -hmm. But the warm vibe lingering and dancing in her mind reminds her to live on. Ooh, okay. She used to be desperate. Okay. <laughs> Though all she has been through was failure after failure, her vigorous vitality won't fade away. At least not now. Okay. Oh, and it gives me the whole thing here. Oh, that's that's actually neat. The shoe sole with the bubble gum. Okay, this was interesting. Huh. Gonna have to keep a, a lookout for these now, th now that I know that they are here. I was kind of trying to click last time through the area to see if there are any um, secrets or something, because I did remember something from back when I saw anything about this game for the first time like a year ago. Uh, I remember people looking at something on these maps, like listening to some text, so I was kind of wondering if that's kind of like a secret of the map or whatever the hell, but okay. So they are visible. Interesting conversation between those two. So yeah, I, I already already had the impression of Burton being very desperate about trying to figure these storms out. So, okay. Curious. Uh, don't think there's anything here. I think there was something on stage three, no? Four? Oh yeah, four has something. What are you? Wall Street Journal. Critters are everywhere. Though they uh, are annoying and hard to catch, specialized pawn shops offer to buy them at a decent price. Critters are divided into the following varieties. Which one did you run into? Take a look. Oh god, okay, these are the newspaper snippets, I guess. An advertisement from the ads page of the Wall Street Journal. Come to CC Critter Pawn Shop to make extra money. Okay, a telephone number. <clears throat> Are the cunning, ubiquitous critters annoying you again? Don't take that as bad news, because if you have a critter, you just found yourself enough money to pay your rent. <laughs> okay. We offer the best, the most precise, and the most honest pricing options you'll ever find. Our shop will buy any critters from the cheapest carbuncles to the expensive yet delicious ruberados that keep diners bouncing about. CC swears on its name that every critter we buy will be treated like a family in compliance with internationally recognized standards of human treatment. Also, I will not lie, when I read CC, the first thing I think about is pizza. And green hair. Figure that one out. Anyway, 
There is also something on stage 5, which seems to be another vocalized story. So this is where we were fighting, I think, the two drunkards? What are you doing? Why did you pick up that cold, opaque, opalescent glass wine bottle from the ground at this most critical moment? The scream outside the parking lot, the friction between the brake pads and the wheel drums, or the story unfolding like Jallo films. Jallo films, Obviously, nice. None of them are as impressive as this bottle. Mm hmm. I can tell that you got good taste. You know, it's not easy to get this stuff these days. But why are you staring at the bottom and licking your lips? <laughs> Tell me, you are not going to take a sip, are you? But it's wine, of course! This is not a wise choice. You can't see the color of the liquid inside the glass. Maybe it's not the ice wine, <laughs> or beer, or any homemade alcohol. Uh-huh. It's probably, very likely, Ugh. just a critter's snot. Even so, do you still want to give it a try? <laughs> Come off it, I'll take a shot. I really shouldn't... Uh, I really shouldn't click this bottle? Click. Eh, sure. Right. It only took one moment for you to decide to click. While well, you had to stand so much nonsense for no reason. Oh, I just realized. Click. Now that I was reading this sentence before he said it. <laughs> oh, this is very meta. Mm -hmm. Now this is picking up my interest even more. I was already suspicious about the fact that we were able to name someone while Burton has her name. Is this gonna... Don't answer that. But is this gonna... Is this gonna go super meta at some point and we, the player, are like an outside observer kind of thing? Ooh, I love games that do that. That is that is always fun. Especially if it's well implemented into the storytelling. My apology if the story didn't unfold as you expected. But, but luckily, you still have your sanity that you are always proud of. Do I? I kind of spent all of my sanity earlier in Ark Nights. Anyway. Come here. Let's put down the bottle. Before Sonetto and that floating apple notice your unusual behavior, you still have a chance to restore your image. Aww. After me, say hi to them. Pretend you've never been tempted by the bottle. <laughs> Do I play along? Are you sure they can hear it? Yeah, I... Yeah, that's a good one. Are you sure they can hear it? Mm. <laughs> yes, I'm pissing you off. I like it. I really want to find out what you're composed of. <laughs> and swallow all the gene analysis down to my stomach so I can figure out... How did you keep your sanity? <laughs> He's so pissed. <laughs> no arcanist is ever as rational and restrained as you. <sighs> they should. They should. <sighs> if there is really one in the world that should be. Look, buddy. You're talking to a former sports fisher. I am mentally trained to sit next to a, to a lake or a river for three, four hours without a bite on our rod and just sit there and just stare at the lake or the river or stare uh, or or listen to music while I do so. I have molded my brain to be patient <laughs> when I was a teenager. I, 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 I will be rational, you little dinkus. And I know so much about you. Too much about you. Even I cannot deny what you are. I can't. Mm -hmm. Who the hell are you? Me. I'm no one. Are you sure? But I can also be anyone. 
A drunken, slovenly old man. A cleaner in a rundown hotel. A fund manager greedy for more. Or a cute, spinning crystal skull. I'll take the crystal skull. But now I'm only a rubber asshole whose mischief just failed. A desperate loser. My wrath can't even burn a weed in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> okay. I'm looking forward to the day we formally meet each other. Only then. <laughs> now lift your big ass and continue your wonderful journey. Excuse me? Anytime, any moment, no matter you expect or not. Excuse me, bitch. I squat every day. You little sassy asshole. I will like you to know that I have a dump truck. Anyway. <clears throat> okay. Weird smelling wine bottle. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna keep a lookout as we are gonna go through these now. If uh, something appears before before leaving for the for the next node okay anyway we've caught up interesting this feels like it's going super super meta <clears throat> anyway node six the rose killer the rosa sorry rosa killer she was sweeter than honey and lighter than feathers she brought a rose to pin on the chest of your soul Lovely? The Rosa killer, huh? <laughs> James Clark. <Ugh>. Whoa. <laughs> Peter Gusenberg. <laughs> what the fuck? Rip. <laughs> Gusenberg. Stop it! What the hell? Hi! Why are you killing them? <sighs> hmm? Because they want to kill the arcanists? You're crazy. I like your gun. Aren't you also here for these Miss Governors? Who know history very well. Are the are the are, are the little holes for the fingers necessary? On a gun there? It kind of reminds me of one of those knuckle... What are they called? Ah, <sighs> what are they called? They're, they're basically for punching, I can't remember right now. Shit. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. But what the frick is the purpose of that thing on a gun? So, uh, next on the list is... Adam here. Oh god. Hey, why can't I shoot her? Why? Good question. Timekeeper. Rescue Adam here. Be careful with her gun. Seems it is not our bodies that she is aiming at. Oh, is she shooting the shadows? Was that why the image was? Whoa. Okay. Keep hostage Adam alive and defeat all enemies. Okay, that's unique sounding. Is he gonna be on the map? Oh god, he is. Keep the hostage safe. It is key to completing this task. What the fuck? Um. Okay. I believe in you. Uh. Affirmative. I know them. And this is an alien city. Fine. All of our roads lead to the same destination. Owie, owie, owie. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can't agree more. Affirmative. Mm -hmm. Fine. Okay. And then we buff and then we debuff. I know the moon. And this is an alien city. <laughs> I like that he is getting a buff. Ow. 
What the hell? I'm not sure how I like the fact that she's getting off to that shit. The world I have never seen before. Uh, can we nuke her? Please? Moment, now night. She's dead. Good stuff. Which matters more? Knowledge <sighs> or strength? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, the last human. You saved him? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the poor guy. I got you. Please stand behind us. I will escort you to somewhere safe. You guys are also arcanists. Yes. <laughs> oh, dry shite. Dry shite. Oh. Kill. He killed himself. Oh, what the hell? Carotid artery ruptures. We lost him. <laughs> what the hell? What a pity. Is it because the Arcanist's blood is so dirty that he would rather die than go with you? Jesus, okay. But life is precious. I do not want anyone to waste it. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh god. Uh oh. Um. Enough. Uh oh, okay, can you stop? Those unconscious arcanists behind you are the original victims, right? You were bringing them back to Manus Vindicte? Hmm? You are much more interesting than the stubborn old woman next to you. No. You are also gorgeous. Oh, and your hair color is quite similar to the feather I like. <sighs> I'm getting excited. I'm getting a restraining order. Answer my question. Hmm. Hmm. That's harsh. We are just on to the same people. Before the storm, everyone wants more useful guys. Uh-huh. In that way, your destiny and mine, are they now tightly connected? None of the seven are alive. How much do you hate humans that you could kill them like that? Hate humans? Then tell me, in this massacre in history, who should be killed, human or arcanist? Hmm. No one should be killed. Difference in talent is never and never will be the reason to deprive people of life. Hmm. Bingo, Miss Governor. Okay. Arcane is the mortal. I um, <laughs> don't really think it matters. Uh huh. As long as we survive, oh. it's all good. Teleporting? What's in the shadow? She's holding a ritual. Stop her! She's going to take those arcanists away. <gasps> is it too late? <laughs> Although I like you very much, I still have to finish my task. Uh-huh. This is the reward for killing Adam for me. Don't forget me. Okay, probably won't. Hmm? You'll be my new para para paralysis demon. I cannot even say the word. That's it? She's gone? What are these? Stock gift agreement? <laughs> what? She even left us stolen goods? Don't worry. I will deal with them right now. Wait. There's an address on the seal. Holly Potion Bar. The Warden. Uh-huh. Sonetto, update the result to the headquarters. Roger that. And we... Let's move on to the next destination. The Warden. It may have the answer to all the questions. Uh-huh. Okay, so she's from the same organization, I guess? This crazy chick? Well then. There are always trails during the story. 
Oh, are you... <laughs> now you're teaching me about this. Uh, step on every trail and unveil a new page of the story. Something seems to be waiting for you in the distance. Uh, trail two, three, okay. Follow the trails to unlock new stories during which you will gain a lot. Okay. Number two, news. A wrinkled public notice marked with the latest news. Oh boy. Okay. On bankrupt uh, companies and newly registered companies February. Public notice ten, uh, 1929. Great Lake Great Lakes Media Company, located in Roosevelt Road, the parent company of the Moon Post of Arcanum, does not possess any distributable assets. The debtors Theodore Jackson, human, Emilio Robert uh, Henger, human, and manager Stephen Sheridan, human, have applied for the termination of the bankruptcy proceedings following negotiations. The Moon Post of Arcanum specializes in reporting news of the Ar Arcanist world with a cir circulation of over 500,000 copies. Damn. Uh, renowned articles include Conspiracy, Human Organ Trade, and The Witch's Curse. What hell? Uh, its parent company, Great Lakes Media Company, was forced to stop its publication in September 1928 due to anonymous reports to relevant authorities and the emergency emergence of radio stations. Pursuant to the provisions of the Nelson Act, this court has reached a verdict of terminating the bankruptcy proceedings of the Great Lakes Media Company in February 14th. <laughs> Valentine's, nice! 1929. Declared on February 24th, 1929. Public notice. List of new newly registered companies. Name. Feldwood Communications Company, legal representative David Klauberg, human, scope, scope of business, media publishing, Arcanum Global Weekly, date of establishment February 3rd, uh, 1929, so before this got resolved, okay. Name, Carl Entertainment Publishing Company, legal representative Vince Dane, human, scope of business, media publishing, American Wizard Entertainment, uh, established February 3rd, okay, same day. Name, Coat, uh, Coast United Publishing Company, legal representative Hugh Midex, Human Scope of Business Media Publishing, Evening News, uh, date of uh, establishment February 5th. Declared on February 14th, 1929. Okay. Uh, okay. An unknown traveler. An energetic greeting, but you believe you two are not that close. Communicate? Oh, uh, someone free? Aloha! Welcome to... Welcome me to your place! <laughs> oh, alright. This is familiar. Okay, free unit. And, uh, this is... Aflatus Relations. A memory about the strengths and weaknesses between entities. Uh, if the uh, flatus of your attack is strong against the target, the target will take more damage than usual, which will sway the battle in your favor. <laughs> Why you? Uh, the relationship... The relationship between different aflatuses is like the ecological cycle. When your aflatus is strong against the targets, your incantation will deal more damage. Chapter 1. Uh, sometimes our Aflatus is strong or weak against an enemy. We need to follow this principle and select the proper arcane skills based on the enemy. Strong or weak, like like a cat to a rat? Oh, tutorial? Ah, okay. And these are the enemy elements. Hmm. Oh, this is where I can see this stuff. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You can't see me. You can't see me. Oh, you look nasty as hell. Uh, it shows the characters of Flatus. Every Flatus is strong against one and weak against the other. Okay. It shows the Flatus' relation of the incantation and the locked target. Okay. Yes. If you change and lock on another enemy, the following incantations you cast will attack the new target. Pay attention to the Aflatus relation. 
Uh, timekeeper, please identify the target we are wrong against for every one of us. Should you encounter any difficulties in the study, tap here. Okay, yeah. Okay, same thing, just a bit more show and tell. Okay. A sword shot. Fair touch. What? Or say, all colors. Honey attack! <laughs> Honey attack? Wait, 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 wait. She has a bunny girl costume, but she is a bear? Or rather has a bear at has bear attacks? Uh uh. I will pray for you. Sorry. Uh, no, don't be sorry, my brain is just dying right now. It's processing. What? A bear pretending to be a bunny? Uh-huh. Thank you. Nice. Okay, I guess uh, we can continue? Scorched Woods. Oh, this looks lovely. Oh, goody. All the critters of the wilds. Uh, they are charred. They wept in the blaze. They remain unbroken. They still exist. Oh, good. That fills me with happiness. It'll be our honor to have the young lady's presence at the Walden. Oh, hi, new character. Thanks to your kindness last time, we were able to invent the new potion before the National Prohibition Act was enacted. Of course, I will deliver what you had purposed on time. Yes, everything is fine. No, you don't have to worry too much about Congress. You need to trust them. Humans, they talk the talk and don't walk the walk, but they're more likely to vote for the side that seems more ethical. Uh -huh. Please be rest assured, we'll make the young lady's day a pleasant one. Uh-huh. Hmm, it's good weather. Uh-huh. Solaby? The hell is the first name? And ideal for an impressive storm. Hmm. Okay, someone who's aware of the storms. Who are you? Manor Hall. According to Louise John Column in the New Yorker, on February the 5th, Duke Ellington's Jazz Orchestra will perform at the Walden tonight. Holy hat! Jesus! Ma'am, you have a strong neck. Holy shit. Is that a bird? Well, it's not a real bird, but that's a bird. Holy ornaments. Whoa, and all the pearls. Shh. Okay. It will be the best ever. Wild, rhythmic, fancy. Just what a jazz band should be. Uh-huh. I'm also noticing some wilds down here. Pocket watch, probably? Is that a bunny? It is a bunny. Okay. There you go, Miss Sotheby. There's no need to deliberately read that aloud. Holy butler, Batman. Master in England has given you the permission to go out. Also, I've spoken to the owner of the Walden on the phone. Uh-huh. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray? That's not what a young lady should say. Are you sure about that? Mr. Carson, Sotheby has grown up. And I am not going out to play this time. I also have the great mission of saving people. Okay, so that's your name, Sotheby. Fine. Fine. Just don't go hawking your new nutrient potions. Miss Mousson would be worried if she saw you come back disappointed. Okay, I was right about the potions. Then I'm leaving! Wrong way, my lady. <laughs> the car is at the front door. Oh no, someone who is directionally challenged and is a rich pamper girl. Oh boy. Oh, I, I don't need a bodyguard. You promised I could go out alone this time. <laughs> you, you need a GPS, probably. Mind your manners, my lady. 
There isn't a bodyguard there for you this time. The wood near the bar is quite dangerous. We must pick you up in person for peace of mind. In brief, after entering the bar, staff will lead you to your seat. No. Remember, watching only. No alcoholic or incitant potion drinks. Do not talk to strangers. Black Bottom or Santangero are not allowed. Oh, he said something extra there. Okay. Hmm? My lady. She's gone? <laughs> She's gone. <sighs> Poor guy. <laughs> Ooh. Borderlands? Creaking, creaking. Uh huh. Spooky, spooky, I would say. Damn. That was a marsh. Don't call me. Oh, I agree with the gloomy. There's no evidence of life at all. Even the bark on the branches are charred. Hmm. Looks like it has been through a huge fire. Well, if it were not the path we must take, I really don't want to enter these woods. Speaking of which, Sonetto, have you ever heard of a ghost story about fire? Oh god, is she gonna be scared about ghost stories? <sighs> oh, she reacted? No, never. Oh. So it is said that in the early 20th century, there was a devastating forest fire in Washington. Those who died unfortunately didn't want to leave, and they turned into dark ghosts in the woods. Mmm. Uh. Oh, she is scared about ghost stories? <laughs> oh, yes. They follow the travelers without making any sounds. And in order to see everyone's face clearly, they will... Ah. I can't hear you clearly. It's too noisy walking on these dried leaves. All I heard is the whizzing sound behind me. <laughs> yes. True. This apple heard some loud noise too. Uh oh. He's being serious. Uh, Mr. Apple, why are you in front of me? Then <sighs> What the fuck? Do She fainted. Lots of unknown creatures. Sonato, stay behind me. I think she fainted. Everyone get ready to fight. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, that was spooky. That was right up my alley. Uh, the enemies of Flatus is shown here. Select the most suitable ally to fight against the enemy based on Flatus' relations. And you're gonna recommend the free unit. Figured. Sure. I do have the Bonnie as well, but sure, let's stick hey with guys. that for now. Are you my teammates? <laughs> I hope I didn't get to the wrong place this time. <laughs> <clears throat> you can't see me. You can't see me. Okay, okay, okay. What the hell? What do we have here? Mmm. Okay. Oh, that's neat. Okay. Uh, let's see. What does this do? One target attack deal 180% reali reality damage. Uh, if the target is in status down, negative status, or control status, this attack also deals 40% more reality damage. Okay. One target attack deal 160% reality damage. If the target's current HP is below 50%, then deal 60% more reality damage. Okay. Oh, right. oh, I get it completely. Ow. Okay, what's your ult? Mass attack. Deal 300% reality damage to all enemies. Moxie plus one for... Other allies. Mm. Okay. My sword shot. I believe in you. Shiny, shiny Nuked. Which matters more, knowledge or strength? Okay, fun. 
Interesting. Also, finally, that third slot is open. <laughs> okay, we have something new and up there as well. Let's see. Also, I've noticed there are the little pips here so I can tell immediately how many are left. Okay. Incantation upgrade. A record on how to make incantations more threatening. Merging incantations will improve their power and even and even change their effects. Uh, yeah, I've noticed that when um, her basic attack combines with another basic attack, it becomes a debuff attack on top of it. Merging incantations will increase their star levels and improve their effects. Intro introduction to Arcane Skills Prologue. When normal incantations make little difference, we need to merge them to enhance the power. Such formidable enemies are rare to see. Okay, tutorial. Uh, yes, start. You, can't see. You, can't see. you are adorable! <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, please guide me as usual. Yep, the enemy is going to launch their attacks. Okay. Please allow me to stop them. Uh huh. Merge into one and play it. So it disarms the enemy and prevents them from actually making a move. <laughs> this apple will do what he can. Sure. This apple will... Oh, do that. Do there we go. Okay, Which simple. Which more? Knowledge? Or strength. Was already kind of dealing with that. Okay, complete. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we. Drew is third? Okay. Before we do that. Uh, incredible unicorn. Sotheby's mansion has thousands of artifacts. What is the thing with one whore, horn. Horn? Horn? Jesus. Reading. With one horn hung high ab <laughs> above her whole the horse cases and people. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. Oh, this is cute. Unicorn, I guess. What is the thing with one horn hung high above her hole that always gazes at people? How should I know that? Okay, so it's not a unicorn. Wait, did I mistype it? Incredible unicorn, it says. Wait, 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 wait. Is that what I need to type? Is that the full thing I need to type? Hold on. No. What? Okay, not gonna lie. A bit confused. So... Huh. I didn't mistype it, right? I'm confused. Not gonna lie. I'm confused as hell right now. What? Hold on. Alright, so, I was trying to look up... Well, look up. I was trying to look through the game and uh, the enemies we were fighting so far, if any of them have a name that would fit the description or at least look like they fit whatever this is supposed to be, but I don't think I've seen or heard yet what this is supposed to be, so I'm gonna guess this is gonna come into play later. So, for now, let's continue on to stage 8. Drew is third? She stood here. She was not waiting for anyone, nor was she trying to remember anyone. Hmm. Oh, hi. You guys are still here. No, too many of them. We can only take one round at most, not for long. Critters keep coming from the roots. Are they living here? Oh, right, before I forget, while I was looking around for any kind of enemy name or enemy lookalike that could fit the description or whatever, <clears throat> whatever is the riddle about, uh, I noticed in the top right corner on the map that there were like tutorial little things, so I did those uh, in between while I was looking up. It was literally just short tutorials with uh, nothing about. So I picked those up so just everybody is aware that I finished those very quickly. Anyway. Come Hi. Again. Careful. Oh, immediately in the battle. Okay. And uh, I also leveled her up to level 10 considering 
she seems fine for now, I guess. You can't see me. You can't see me. Oh, goody. Uh, oh, goody. Ow. Okay, they are starting to hurt. Just do that. Oh. <coughs> Timekeeper, did you see my mark on the map? Yes. According to my calculation, that's the closest position to the edge of the woods. In one minute, I'll cover you to move in the opposite direction. Remember, there's a slope two miles away that can slow down the critters. Okay. Miss Sonetto, aren't you coming with us? Suppressed by such an overwhelming number, we can't get out. Don't worry, the action strategy would be more flexible if there's only me. Okay. As long as the enemies are not ghosts. No. <laughs> Even if they are ghosts, I will survive. Oh, okay. Where do we meet then? I will always find you. Please retreat quickly. O okay. I'm worried now. Mr. Apple. May the peace be with us. I am worried now. Oh boy. Ghost. They're all coming for us. Uh-huh. It's a good thing. Maybe we covered Sonetto. As long as one of us can leave the woods, there is hope for the rest. Oh boy. Too Getting closer. The slope. Get ready to fight. Mr. Apple, how much longer can you hold on? Though it may not sound like what an apple should say, this apple will fight with you to the last moment. Huh. Thank you. Spooky. Vertin, look out. Huh? Hmm? Whoa. Hi. Shoo. No offense. Hi. Would you please pass me my heel? <laughs> uh, it seems to have fallen into your arms. Who are you and why are you lazing in a dead forest? <laughs> Thank you, game. Who are you? <laughs> game is literally making me ask the literal thing I just asked. Uh, anyway. Why are you in such a high place? This is my promised land. Oh, good. I am Druvis the Third. Ah. It's my pleasure to meet you. Hi. You sound familiar. The hills. Here you are. Thank you. Then I will come down and clean up the mess. Okay. It's fine to land barefoot. Ooh. I don't like touching them directly. Ooh. Invaders. That looks dope. She beats hundreds of them with one single move. Is it the power of her wand? Maybe. No. The arcane circle she casted is pretty archaic. She must have a European arcane and background. <laughs> so because it's archaic, it's from Europe? Does that say a lot of stuff about Europe? It has been a long time since I saw the Arcanist visitors. I Thank you for helping me expel the critters. Then, as for the ones left... There's a little bell on her neck. Just as the woods prophecy and whisper, Invaders, you shall offer your sacrifice for the peace. Please allow us to assist you. All right, dope. I weave the gown with thorns. Oh shit. You shall repay the sacrifice of wounds. Whoa. Thanks for that. Okay. Uh well, I had an ult ready. And a second ult ready. Weightlessness only lasts as oh. I can't agree more. There we go. She applaud. Huh? Was it an exercise? 
Oh god, another airhead. Oh god. I see more tutorials also. Yum. Well, we're gonna be doing a summon session at the end of today's part, but first, what do we have? Wait, that's number two. Okay, tra trail, trail number one. Hello, Miss Sonetto. This is a place where Sonetto and Sotobi met in the most unforgettable way. <laughs> Witness this moment. Okay. Doggy! Alright, let's see. Bam, bam. Uh, bam. I can't agree more. <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> Be careful, young man. I believe in you. I saw it shot. Affirmative. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Depict the world Don't I have never seen before. Weightlessness. I Don't worry. Weightlessness only lasts a second. I know the moon, and this is an alien city. The star falls towards the sun as the apple drops to the ground. Each moment, now light. Which matters more? Knowledge? All right, they finally got to greet each other after defeating all the critters. She also made her first outside friend. Huh. Cute. Okay, what's the other thing? Tactic to disarm. A record on the use of hooks and ropes. Disarm will disable the enemy's attack type arcane skills and stop their attacks to sway the battle in your favor. Right, tutorial on disarming, huh? Disarm incantations can disable the target's offensive arcane skills. It is one of the most basic types among all the control incantations. Principles of Arcane Skills Chapter 1. If the enemies are fierce, select disarm incantations to hinder their attack. The instructor of that course was very strict. I was one of the few students who passed the exam. Huh. <laughs> was it Doberman? Alright, let's see. The enemy is going to cast offensive arcane skills. Yes, use her debuff move. I know. I saw a shot. Affirmative. Okay. Each moment, now night. Bye bye. I will pray for you. Okay, there, there's a lot of these little intricate little combinations of things. I like it. Okay, let's keep going, I guess, because right now I cannot do anything with this. And there was nothing during this part. Okay. <clears throat> Security Carnival. The Rotten <laughs> Rattenfänger? <laughs> really? Cat rat? Uh, cat. Uh, rat catcher? The Rattenfänger atop the Eternal Heights remained tireless. He needed no sleep, nor rest. Cutscene only, huh? Finally. We are safe now. Thank you very much for your help, Miss Druvis. You ran a long way into the woods. Are you looking for the girl with orange hair? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Shut up, Burton. 
I see her get rid of the critters and take a dark green Bentley to the northwest. Hmm. Yeah, we've seen it on a map. She met with uh, the other one. The woods know where the visitors go, leading them astray or to the light. And your friend. She has good fortune. The exit on the northwest. It's quite close to the Walden on the map. The Walden? Now I see. You are also here for the storm gathering tonight. Oh? What is the storm gathering? It is a gathering of elite arcanists from all states. Besides, celebrities and frequenters familiar with the barkeeper are also invited. I think... There will be the regular jewel performances, a banquet that is too noisy, and the announcement of good news. Do you know what exactly the good news is, Miss Druvis? My apologies. I am not interested in that. Hmm. But if you want to know the good news, you might as well take my invitation and take a look. This is a secret gathering in a speakeasy. It's by invitation only, and a stock coupon of at least $50,000 is needed. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Stock? Why does it always have something to do with financial securities? We had a subscription agreement before, but it was burned by our friend. <clears throat> That's all right. But you can actually get here with nothing. Stock prices have reached what looks like a permanently high plateau. Have you heard about this? Uh huh. Nowadays, cash is not used for transactions. The application of Arcanum has made stock exchange surprisingly convenient. Oh, this... Now that they're talking about stock, I can't remember the exact year... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, never mind. It is 1929. This, uh, the, the stock crash of tw 29. Okay, 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 okay. I see. I was like, I, I remember something around the 30s, there was a, there was a big, big stock crash, value, everything going down. I just couldn't remember the exact year. Okay, it is 1929. The urban agglomerations expand rapidly in the new era, and even the critters have lost their home. Only loans and the infinitely soaring stock market could satisfy such a huge desire. Hmm... It is yeah. similar to the history this apple knows, but sounds a little different. Mm -hmm. This is the gift agreement for a 50,000 US dollar coupon. If you're still going to the gathering, take it with you. Thanks? I like the handwriting. You not going? Thank you for asking, but I do not want to leave the woods for now. Suddenly, the background noise of the woods shut the hell up. Sign the real name. Hello, I am your personal stockbroker. Your grantee application has been received. Huh? Application approved. Account updated. What? Also, she signed with Burton. Real name, huh? I'm getting more and more suspicious about the fact that I was able to choose a name. Thank you for your support to Blue Chip Stock. You're welcome, buddy? What is this, like, arcane, old-timey radio bullshit? The real estate market is on fire today. Now we have customized recommendations for you. Thank you? We're good. Thank you. <laughs> Hangs up. The exit of the woods is at the end of the that road, apple is based. next to the three cypresses. I will leave you here then. May the woods bless you with fortune. And... Yeah? If you see the barkeeper, please send him my best regards. Sure. Lord, forget me not. Oh God! You had a good day. It's the crazy one. Ooh, Walden. The men I need. Have you brought them back? 
Oh god. Death. <laughs> Lord forget me not. Okay. Also, Jesus. It looks like death personified. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Seven arcanists not even missing a single cutie finger. Oh, okay. They are all very interested in the doctrine of the Manus. Soon, they will become your devout desperados. <laughs> oh, good. I did my job so perfectly. What rewards will there be for me? <laughs> I heard you didn't take care of the redundancies. <laughs> redundancies? really remember. In the mission there are instructions to kill civilians. Or, say, for you, the arcanists who are not pure-blooded are just worthless. <laughs> They're both crazy. Even if we are from a southern mafia, we do care about brotherhood. We can't be as ruthless as the storm. For the special ones, of course, we Manus will make exceptions. Just like now, we're still searching for your missing sister, Schneider. Schneider. Thank you for being considerate. Okay. She strolls lazily towards the door. Your stepsister, Marion, must be extremely touched if she knows how much you value her. Uh-huh. You were adopted by the Grecos, after all. It's not like you're related to those humans by blood. Marion and Grecos, okay. No matter what, we are families and have lived together for more than ten years. Uh-huh. Thank you for caring so much about Marion. Although... I think I've never mentioned which sister is missing. Huh. He just knows. Mom. Mm -hmm. Mom, back up. Let's leave tonight. Oh. Oh. She is panicking because he knows. Which sister is missing? Like, he knows too much? Okay... Also, the fact that this crazy chick is panicking because of that guy is sending... sending me somewhere. Oh god. Oh? What do we have here? Uh... Okay, so we have... Greco puts down the phone. She is now as calm as any Italian mother you've ever met. You know, they're usually making a yummy pie before they pull out their guns. <laughs> yes. Also, this one is called To Another Castle? Really? Okay. There are enough people in black outside. Enough to prevent any eavesdropping or violent conflict. Uh-huh. Mrs. Greco glanced blandly over the one, two, three, four... Nine, ten, eleven children in front of her. This is a big family, and it has grown bigger and bigger over the past few years because of Schneider. Uh huh, okay. Who is Miss Greco? She's Schneider's biological mother. Okay. You see her furrowed face like a hard stone wall while inside the wall is all about a pious farmer's life. Okay. The Grecos are not good at dealing with gang affairs. They can't even figure out when their daughter has grown. <laughs> grown into the backbone of the whole family. Huh. Interesting. When Schneider took out $500 from her pocket and put them on the table, they were completely shocked. And that's just the beginning. Hmm, actually, I kind of wonder, hold on, I kind of want to see the conversion rate. Alright, so, if that is correct, 
500 dollars in 1929 would be equivalent to 9140 roughly dollars by uh, today's standards in this year so 2024 well that's quite a lot of money schneider schneider the youngest daughter they seldom cared about it's impossible to keep every child well fed Schneider could not even get a piece of bread in the Eucharist. <laughs> but a good daughter would not let anyone worry about her. She sat on the bench outside the church and hummed. She found a way out for herself. She walked to the underground market, fascinated by what she saw. She announced her new identity one day. <laughs> what are these questions? What new identity or what bread? What new identity? The identity you know now. Okay, yeah, makes sense. In the process, she lost something old but gained something new, no matter if she wished for it or not. <laughs> now, Mrs. Greco said, we live or we die. If Schneider comes back safely tonight, we will leave when the moon rises. Okay. The doors are closing in front of us, one after another. But the benevolent Maria will give us the ultimate shelter. My children, remember today forever. That sounds interesting, but the benevolent Maria will give us the ultimate shelter? Hmm. Her words speak for her status, but Mrs. Greco's eyes never moved away from that small Madonna on the table. The hem of her clothes was soaked in tears. Hmm. 4 p.m. A family is determined to start a new journey. Oh, they are running. Okay. Transcribed. Okay, and what is this? Critter's Sheet. Since they don't know human languages, critters will use items to express their intent. The one before you is hissing and dancing while dressed in a sheet. It is trying to taunt you. Silence it! Group bunkle? Okay, and carbuncles. Okay. Let's see. Uh, alright. So what do we have? Do you want me to do anything specific or just beat them? I guess just beat them. Oh, right, 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 right. This is from the other tutorial. Uh, so... This is gonna be... You. And this is gonna be... Affirmative. All right. Be careful, young man. Oh, that deleted something. Huh. Okay. 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 Oh, it deleted my. Oh, it ate the initiative. Okay. 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 These little shits. Okay. You're playing dirty, aren't you? Oh. It's not dead. It's not dead. Okay. Oh, it's not- it's survived by a bee's dick of health. Sure, exercise. <laughs> Alright. Need a little tutorials. And that was it, nothing else hiding here. Oh, they are arriving. That's interesting to follow along. And she is here. Alright. Oh. No. Just cutscene again, huh? Uh, the origin... The origin butterfly. A first time meeting of the young scientists. Let's shake hands and show respect to each other, dear friend. Do you wish to know more of the truth? Yes, please. Hello. Please get me Madame Z of the St. Pavlov Foundation Committee.
that's interesting. Woe to... Huh? What would that spell? Thre? Near zero. Okay, never mind. Mm. It's you. Actually. What's wrong? Yeah, these are just numbers spelled out with letters. That's very interesting. Also, hi, Z. Nice to have a face to you. In what language is this spelled out? I can read them. It's almost English. Seven? Unless it is English, but they're... Unless it is English, but it's kind of like... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of like... Uh, bettered out, essentially, from use. Hmm. Anyway. I request access to the historical intelligence on the US financial market in 1929. Specifically the date of the Wall Street stock market crash. Hey, they actually mentioned it. Hanum was involved in the methods of stock exchange. I was faster than you, game. Anything else? Also... I request sending backup to reinforcers for the storm gathering tonight. Cash aware required. The date of the 1929 crash, confirmed by primary sources, is Thursday, October 24th. And the decline happened again on the 28th and 29th. Mm -hmm. Intelligence division indicates that no arcane forces were involved. Hmm. The Manus is changing history, Madam Z. I'll send you a special team and give you the highest command. Ooh. Do not make any moves until you figure out the reason why they want to change the history. Copy that. Copy that. Sounds like your friend just got into some trouble with Regulus. Oh yeah, right, Regulus. You're in the foundation right now. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'd say, sign these documents and that's all for me, right? And then to the office of the Scientific Computing Center. That's right. Let me show you the way, Regulus. Whoa, what the hell is wrong with your eye, buddy, huh? Ever heard of eye drops? What the hell? Laplace. Laplace! Is that his name, or is that just a division he's part of? What does it say? Hold on. Laplace Scientific Computing. Okay, that's like a division or building or whatever. Can I actually read? Hold on. Medical head of something. X. Oh, X is, I guess, his name? Also, apologies for his squeak. I'm moving the, <laughs> moving the mic to get closer. What the hell is with the... Ribbons, buddy. What is that book? Oh, I can't read from this angle. I think it's a Latin. Hmm. What the hell is with your eye, buddy? Mm. This is Axe, hmm, our mechanical right. scientist. He mm. will introduce you to some of our research devices. Mechanical scientist, huh? Okay. I'm more interested by the fact that this is called Laplace. Although you're known for your rock and roll, I've heard that you're also interested in human technology. Oh, I got it. I don't need to introduce myself then. Just call me Captain R. <laughs> <laughs> She's vibing along, I love it. <laughs> That's not what our names come from. Figured. Follow me, friend from afar. I have a lot of interesting new things to show you. You're also very creepy with that eye. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about you, buddy. The office is the only branch of the Scientific Computing Center affiliated with the Foundation. Mm -hmm. So only the paper materials can be shared. Okay. Hmm. Hey! Why'd you stop? I almost hit you! The introduction of the Scientific Computing Center is over. And your sightseeing tour ends here. Okay, that's abrupt. Would you like to know something more interesting? For example, the truth of the storm? I would. Please, tell me. What do you know? Not me. It's we. We're from a secret institution inside the Scientific Computing Center. 
Institutum Lorenz. Institutum Lorenz. We are the ones who invited you to visit the Scientific Computing Center. Although you didn't bring the little thing with you, I believe it's still necessary for us to know each other. The little thing? Is he talking about the apple? <laughs> so it seems everyone at the Foundation is an intelligence expert. We are not part of the Foundation. Not even part of the Scientific Computing Center. Hmm. Unlike the Manus rioters who attacked you for your little thing. We are only interested in the Arcanists who are curious and inquisitive. Everything else has nothing to do with us. To better understand the storm, Lorenz needs more talented collaborators. Uh-huh. Hmm. Oh. So does the door in front of us lead to your secret base? For now, yes. Ah. Oh. I can't see anything inside. Ah. <sighs> Vertin and Sinetto. What are they doing now? They're in a lot of doo-doo. Okay. Slowly discovering shit. Slowly getting spookier. Uh, she's surrounded by shit. These two are still over here. And <laughs> Sonetto is on her little own adventure over there. Just to check. Oh, oh, oh. Good thing I went back. What are you? Matilda's school report. This sheet is a school report, and the signature uh, block says Matilda Buonich. The score has been blackened on purpose, and you can only see a jotting. The number of points I need to reach full marks is exactly the number implied by her name. Why? Why? So why is Matilda Buani... So what is Matilda Buani's score? Huh? Implied by her name? Hmm. Alright, so this sent me down a rabbit hole. Jesus. <clears throat> okay, so first off, why am I here? Because I was trying to figure out who Matilda is and kind of remembered, is, isn't she someone I already seen? Yes, that, that is Matilda. And from there, I started to go like, okay, who is she Who is she referring to with her name? And obviously she, from what I was reading through her, she keeps talking about Sonetto. So, what is the full score? Well... Well... <laughs> I have no idea. It's either, like, a full score in a test sheet is like, what? In most places it's like a hundred. And I'll be quite real here, that shit doesn't really apply for Croatian schools, unless something changed since I was in school, so uh, I'm going by uh, different school systems and logics here. If if it's a hundred... If it's a hundred, it's either one of two things, because I was curious about um, another thing, because I know that Sonetto stands for something, specifically. Either it's a hundred minus the number of letters in her name, so... Uh, 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 uh. So either minus six, which would mean 94, or it's minus... minus 14, because a sonero is 14, blah blah blah, so let's see, it's one of the, one of the two. It's either this... No. Or it's... oops. This. Okay. <sighs> okay, this overheated my brain. Anyway. <clears throat> SF School of Primary Defense of Mankind. <laughs> okay, chapter... Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? Uh, chapter 1, Transfer Student of SF, SF School of Primary Defense of Mankind. Chapter 2, The Tall and the Mature Miss Buanich. Uh, chapter 3, Miss Buonich and assist Assistant Miss Sonetto, crossed out, okay. Chapter 4, Secrets of the Campus Citadel. Chapter 5, Miss Buonich and her Assistant Sonetto's Happy Vacation. <laughs> uh, okay, I think she likes Sonetto. Chapter 17, Farewell After Graduation. Chapter 18, Monitor Assistant? Question mark, exclamation mark? <laughs> 
Chapter 19, Special Field Task. Okay. Okay. That was crazy. Anyway. Let's, uh, continue on, huh? Charge, baby, charge. Smarter than the Sphinx, hotter than the flames of Nirvana, and faster than Boreas, our chariot of war shall crush every lie and injustice. Oh. <gasps> Dear Freddy, could you make the auto island move faster? Our Miss Zanetto has something really urgent. The auto island? Is that what you call your car? Miss, we cannot speed up anymore. Mr. Carson will be mad if we race in the woods. No. Oh, then how long will it take to the Walden? Probably half an hour. Oh my, it's too long. We promised Miss Zanetto to find her friends, right? All right, you two became friends. If we keep going slowly, we will miss Miss Vashin. <sighs> Fine. Freddy, quick. Drink it. Uh oh. She sounds uh panicked and excited. Uh oh. It's the bravey charging hopping potion I made this morning. The what? Just drink it. The what? I'm concerned. Uh, what are you? Wait a minute. What did you? <laughs> Holy shit, he's gulping that thing down. Miss, you're really going to, to sell your potion? What the hell? See? Now you've got a lot more strength, right? Uh-huh. I added the most effective tears of the pure-blooded Koresk and the strongest bile acid of the blue lobster. The what? What? What is wrong with this woman? Definitely makes you forget the fears and be courageous and excited for two whole days without food and drink. Uh-huh. What? Miss Sotheby, did you feed him a whole bottle of that? It's too dangerous. What the hell? Ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> too bad. He doesn't look right. Hold the handrail. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've never felt so good in my whole life. Charge, baby. Charge. Charge to high heaven. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I got his eye on crack. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round. Round and round. <laughs> This is what happens when you drink five Red Bulls in a row without uh, taking a breath. Okay, now I know why they were in that place on the map. Oh, it hurts. Oh, baby. Miss Sotheby. Miss Ooh. Sotheby. Uh oh. Are you all right? Um. That's a lot of bling. Where are we? I know we crashed into the back wall of the Walden. Uh huh. Yes, but it looks like like an underground labyrinth. Uh huh. Whoa! Did did we really crash into the back wall of the bar? The auto island. It's stuck in the wall. Freddy. Oh, fortunately, you just passed out. Fortunately, Jesus Christ, that man wasn't pure crack cocaine. Oh, this is too bad. This is real bad. If Mr. Carson knows I broke the barkeeper's wall. Oh. Mm. -mm. The car is stuck in the wall. We have to find another way out. Let's let's get out of here quickly before Mr. Carson knows it. <laughs> Are you gonna run away from the crash? Um. Caspita, the crash just now wakened the critters in the underground. Ah. Hmm. Let me see what it looks like. Oh no, she's excited. Ah, I saw the stars in her the eyes. Carbuncle that's parasitic on the dust. They all act in groups. Generally speak, if you see one carbuncle, it means 
There's a large group of carbuncles around here. Yeah. Ah, we there they are. We have them before we leave. Okay, let's do it. The, my alchemy will definitely come in handy. Uh-huh. Do I get a battle where you're a guest character in? That will be sweet. Nope. <laughs> Uh, all right. You can't see me. You can't see me. Enemy attack, enemy attack. God, the face they make when I attack. What are you? Winged cat? That is a cat? Sure. Bloodborne, maybe. As the apple drops to the ground. There we go. I will pray for you. Hmm, nice. Sorry. More creepy Freddy. shit? Leave him to me. I will carry him. Miss Sotheby, you seem to know the Walden better. Please lead the way. Sure, no problem. Though it looks different from the bar I imagined, I will definitely find the right way out. Uh, sure. I hope so. Please, help me. Oh, hi. Uh, well, you look... Yeah. Schneider. It hurts so much. Who's there? Hmm? Who are you talking to? I just heard. Is it my mistake? No, it's not. Well, that's. Ugh. Poison? The liquid flowing out of the wall. It's a mixture of human blood and vomitus. M vomitus? Expelliarmus? This is. Truth serum. What the hell? Mr. Neto? Why are you talking to yourself against a wall? If you want to get out soon, follow me! <laughs> I will be there right away. Okay, I already know where to go. Follow Sotheby! Let's go left! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. It shouldn't be a mistake. There is a human imprisoned by Arcanum in the speakeasy. I have to report it to the timekeeper as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Something unlocked. Uh, the hardships ahead will require you to prepare more. Okay. Resources! There we go. This is where you're getting in resources. Okay, let's see. Critters gather wherever there is the dust. Poussière. The feral critters. Wastes are everywhere. Critters gathered. Watch out. The huge ones, they will enjoy the dust. Uh, follow it to visit the unknown, okay. Uh, learn new value of dust, it will show you more. Uh huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a paradise for humans. I remember its glory was as dazzling as a sun that drops to the ground. Okay. Uh huh. Well, you are level, so. Hey guys, are you my teammates? <laughs> I hope I didn't get to the wrong place this time. <laughs> She's ah, something. That is a big puss. Uh, shaking of the dust. Reality damage taken plus thirty percent. Okay. Hey, auto combat is up, huh? Let's see how this works. I, oh, I can't agree right, more. Right, so long lives this. I just noticed that cat is sitting right on top of a crushed car. What? Shiny, shiny what? <laughs> I will pray for you. That cat has some moves. Sorry. Clear stage mode. Okay, what? Does it drop anything else? No, this is literally just for uh, money. Okay, this is a money stage. Got it. Got it. Extra rewards on top. I'll take it. Okay, let's see. There is more shit here, so let's see. 
The strange thing in the labyrinth, truth serum is a controlled substance. It is used to counter the sight and fraud. Pick up. A medication used for interrogations. It can be turned in as a task item in story trails. Get rid of the lips of guile and tongue of flies. And truth will be all that remains. Oh, goody. Okay. Now, what's the other thing? Chat in front of the bar. A member of Manus Vindicte is strolling before the door of the Walden. He has a letter that you might be able to get with a trick. Take a peek. Oh. Battle, huh? Okay. You can't see me. You can't see Ooh, whoa, buddy. You look fancy. Oh. He's doing auto combat. I forgot that auto combat's on. <laughs> Fine, let's see how it goes. Each moment, now night. I will pray for you. All right. Sorry. Apple got smacked though. <laughs> Was curious if auto combat is gonna complete it properly. Okay, it's yours now. Uh huh. Ooh, a letter with black mucus. Chaos begins where the butterfly flutters its wings. Institutum Lorenz. Ooh. Okay. Uh, found the devil after the storm. Institutum Lorenz is a mysterious organization hidden within, but independent of the Laplace Scientific Computing Center. Its primary area of research is the chaos energy of Arcanum. Its members distrust the tech of human civilization and would rather discard them. Ooh. Okay, they're active in various sites of arcane phenomena, secretly searching for the original butterfly. While all of its members' whereabouts remain unknown, Lorenz still has branches all over the world. Our vanguard squad has fought their investigators several times, yet we still haven't found a way into any of their branches. Ooh, that's interesting. Alright, uh, let's do stage 12. I actually don't know how much more is left of this chapter. But let's do stage 12, because that will unlock uh, slot number 4, and after that I think we're gonna call it for this specific uh, part of the Let's Play. Okay, she's here. These two dinguses are still here. Appetizers. Under the spotlight, freshly spilled blood is the best appetizer and agent for starting a fire. I'm surrounded by distance... Distances like a flag. Sense the winds that are coming, I st Thanks for coming to assist. You're welcome, let me read this. I'm surrounded by distances like a flag. Sense the winds that are coming, I stand and must flutter. Yet things below are not stirred. Stocks celebrate and the prices emulate on a Thursday afternoon. When the sun shines as before, gold forms the line, reaching a lasting high plateau. I know the storms and am excited like the sea. And I spread out and fall into myself and throw myself all alone into the great storm. Hmm. That's an interesting one. Also, that is a cityscape. Arcade. Louis Armstrong, I guess? The Tempest King of Swing. Nice, nice, nice. So, so many references here. Retro music. Hmm. When were Cassettes invented again? Hold on. Okay. If what I just looked at is correct, 1963. So to this. Make you ask Madam Z for Oops. help. It must be tough here. Apologies. 1963. So this is a bit of a whoopsie doodle if this is 1929. Unless technology has advanced a tiny bit more. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is an invention of the 60s. I just don't feel good about this. Hopefully it's my misjudgment. 
Is everyone in position? Yes. Eight of the team got the invitation to the gathering. They have entered separately. Others are standing by at every entrance of the speakeasy. Okay. These are the intels we got about the Walden. They're going to hold a live duel show tonight. Uh-huh. Fighters can win stock in the amount of one million dollars. And the betting odds can be from five to one to ten to one. Jesus. They are crazy. Timekeeper, please take this with you. Uh-huh. It's the latest product from the Scientific Computing Center. Heaven Apostle 34-7. They've added the cell sap of the bombard ball to it. Unfold its wing and it will blast in 15 seconds. Uh, hold on, is that a Bible verse? Alright, so there is a Psalm 34-7. And uh, if I'm not gonna forget, I'm gonna put it on screen so everybody can see it. But it says... In this verse, we are reminded of God's powerful protection and assistance for those who revere Him. The metaphor of the angel of the Lord encamping around those who fear Him illustrates divine guardianship, showcasing God's commitment to defend and deliver His faithful followers. This encapsulates a core truth of Psalm 34, which centers on God's readiness to help those in distress, offering safety and salvation to all who place their trust in Him. Moreover, the verse encourages believers to place their anxieties and fears before God, reinforcing the notion that His presence is a refuge from life's challenges. Those who seek Him will find that He not only listens to their cries, but actively works on their behalf ensuring they are not left to face troubles alone. The assurance of divine intervention is a recurring theme throughout scripture. Yeah, okay, blah, 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 blah. You get it. Okay. If that's referring to that, then, uh, interesting. Bringing, bringing that stuff in. Okay. Uh, I am intrigued. Uh, so again, it's the latest product from the Scientific Computing Center. Mm-hmm. The blast is undirectional. Please watch your position when you use it. Okay. Got it. Let's head down to the warden now. You follow Apple. Remember to stay low profile. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Uh huh. Whoa. All the new immigrants, arcanists. Moralities and immoralities, anti-saloon league and democratic progressives, free thinkers and churchgoers. Welcome to your eternal home, the Walden. Uh -huh. How was it? You seem to be enjoying the last show, the hooch dance girl with the boa constrictor. <laughs> well, in that case, next round's Python Sweet is all on me. Python Sweet? I assure you every Chicagoan loves the YY bourbon. You won't forget its charm. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, I guess your eyes are fixed on the charts. Don't worry, my friends. Let's focus on the next duel instead. Trust me. And you'll get the return beyond your craziest imagination. Uh-huh. Ah, so crowded. This Apple's favorite bow tie almost gets lost. <laughs> Why is the speakeasy so busy? It doesn't look like an illegal place at all. This is the only speakeasy in the States that has never been given a shakedown. It's said that Forget-Me-Not, owner of the speakeasy, can make a potion drink which is not alcoholic until people drink it. Oh, that's interesting. The drink becomes alcohol after you drink it? Is it like reacting with... Oh! Wait, didn't I hear about something like that? Where it, when you... W w when the when the liquid makes contact with uh, the acids in your stomach, it turns to alcohol? From purchasing raw materials... Or something? ...medical store license, distillating, transporting and selling, and ensuring the security together with gangs. We got nothing on them. Or am I just thinking about people who have that, um, what's it categorized as, as a, as a uh, intestine disorder or something where no matter what you drink or, or rather, if you eat, if you eat stuff that has too much, like, yeast in it or something like, like, like bread, for example, it pretty much turns, uh, turns the bread 
if if you eat bread, for example, it turns the bread into pretty much alcohol. It welcomes all the marginals and doles out patronage positions. Through this, the Walden has already cemented itself as the one above all other speakeasies in Chicago. Hmm. Did you find out the relationship between Manus Vindicte and him? No. His document was edited purposely, but we can be sure he is from this era. However, we found that the time he made contact with the politicians was close to the beginning of the unusual boom of the domestic financial market. Aww. Since then, you can't talk about arcane stock trading without mentioning the Walden. All right, my friends. Shh. <laughs> okay. Shh. We're about to have a taste of tonight's appetizer. Uh-huh. Let's welcome our fighter of the year. Uh-oh. The defender of the undefeated honor of knocking out ten consecutive arcanists and human challengers. Uh-oh. <laughs> then which guest will have the honor to be the challenger of the duel? A million dollar coupon? You get beat the crap out and lie in bed for two months. Worth it! <laughs> <laughs> I prefer betting. Maybe I can get a Hamptons villa! This guy actually has a portrait, what the hell? VIP guest? The fate of this challenger, we let the spotlight decide. Oh, let me guess. The spotlight chose you, lady with the top hat. Yep. Shit. <laughs> she said shit. <laughs> Why is it censored? Why is it censored in text? What a God, God bless the Do it. I give you Schneider, the defending champion of last year, and the timekeeper from St. Pavlov Foundation, Miss Vertin. You are very knowledgeable, and I kind of hate and love it at the same time. Who the hell are you? Shit, they got our intels too? Yep. I'm going, don't worry. And now, let the duel begin. Uh-oh. <laughs> Long time no see, Miss Governor. How's it going? It seems my lord would like to see me kill you myself. <laughs> he has even created such a chance on purpose. Oops! <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> Come on! Why do you have to waste your life? Are you here to enforce justice of the Foundation? Well... Uh-oh. Goddamn! The Foundation obviously has no justice. You don't even dare make the storm public. Turn down my families with ridiculous lies. <laughs> Is that your so-called justice? Ah, uh, that's the beef. Well, that's great. The fragrance of orange blossom on her suddenly opens out in the air. You've been there. Mm -hmm. The scent of orange in Soneto's mission capsule. That's why you can hijack the hostages outside the parking. Mmm, okay. <laughs> There is no shelter there for me. Then all I can do is to complete the tasks for my lord. Oops. I just lost my focus. I won't become serious now. <laughs> That's concerning. That is concerning. You're becoming serious now? Huh? Okay. Okay, you guys are marked with assist. Sure. Sure, let's see how this goes. What the hell? Turn it off. Oh, this is a one-on-one. -on -one. 
This is a one-on-one, -on -one, I just don't... <laughs> He's just chilling! Okay, let's see. Uh, debuff? Really? I only have buff cards? Sure. We're getting rid of him. Wow! How much health did you have left? And there she is. Oh boy. Oh, I will not be able to disarm her. Well, that's lovely. Okay, well, buff and hit. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Levia Sereno and then so I didn't feel it. Where is this one? Ow. Ow. Okay, what's gonna happen if I lose? Cause these other two were counted as assistants. Okay, well, I don't have much of a choice, so do this and do a super buff? Each moment now night. Where is this I know the this is an alien city. That's not gonna save my ass. Or will it? What? Nope. Ooh, <gasps> nope. Okay. Assistant time? Yep. You can't see me. You can't see me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what the what the ferret? Uh okay, anyway. Big attack. Small attack. I can't agree more. An apple a day keeps the doctor. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Ow! Be careful! What an animation! Getting taken out by monsters! Ow! 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 No! Stop it! As the apple drops to the ground. Fine. Okay. I will pray for you. Sorry. <laughs> Get it fine. Don't don't Whoa, apologize. Wow, I'm gonna raise. Just on that ver 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 whatever. <laughs> ver whatever. Come on, the champion. I bet all my money on you. Oh, the Dow Rock is to three eighty one point one seven. Then I, I add five thousand more. Oh boy. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Nice. Nice. Miss Governor, you're much better than I thought. Not like the little punks in the Foundation. Why did you go to the Foundation? Can't the Manus give you what you want? <laughs> of course, it's because we, the ones sifted out by the storm, want to live. The storm is about to fall. Who cares whether the shelter is the eve or the rubble? Mm-hmm. Before finishing her words, Schneider attempts to chop Burton on the neck with her hand. What if I say, I can provide you with the shelter? Oh? <laughs> Speechless? Her hand halts in the air for a second, yet eventually she decides to point the pistol towards Burton. The person who said this to me last time is just sitting behind us watching the game. Mmm. Oh boy. Huh? The trend is falling by 31%. Is it me or...? It's crashing. Okay, three new points of interest on this one, huh? Well, let's check those out very quickly. Prepare for the ultimate. A record on how to gain Moxie quickly. Getting Moxie quickly will allow you to cast ultimates quickly and sway the battle in your favor. Okay, that's the tutorial. Uh, actually, you know what? On further thought, I'm gonna leave this for next time, cause this is going on for long enough. So before we, however, head off, I will do one thing, and that's the same thing I did last time. 
And that is a temple. So let's see who or what we can uh, get. Also, I have no idea how close I am to finishing this first chapter. But, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's do this, shall we? Good work, yes. All right. Baby Blue. Who am I? I don't know. <laughs> uh-huh. It's okay. Alice in, War in Wonderland. Wonderland. Everyone is Alice. Rabies. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, moving on. I'm Olive Fogg, Special Commissioner of the London Climate Management Agency. You're a babu. <sighs> Three hours from getting off. Okay, let's start. You're a little babu. Hi, I'm Sputnik One's. Uh, twin sister. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know her. I need a moment. <laughs> I think I need a moment. <clears throat> Sputnik? And Sputnik talks? What the hell? TTT? Uh, I mean, at least you don't s look spooky like the other one, so be my guest. Also... Hi? What? What are these characters? Hello, Miss Timekeeper. We're a team now. If you encounter any difficulties with your assignment or the study of Arcanum, please feel free to ask me any questions, just as Miss Sotheby does. All right. And then a normal person. And a bunch of dupes, okay. Yep, imprints, I get it. Also, I think... I'm, I'm still processing Sputnik. Uh, I think I have that one item in inventory, which should give me a temple on this banner, right? Yes, okay. Okay, I was like, was that a special call or not? I was just full of dupes. Mission accepted. Advice, you'd better clear your complaint mailbox first. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hello, Elisa. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you a Dorin or are you a Lalafell or both? Two star? What One door? An insignificant piece of a mirror. <laughs> By nature, I'm of no difference to my other 3,587 siblings, but knowing you has made me different to them. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Some of these units are... Are you asleep? No, I'm not asleep. Okay. I'm just bewildered. Some of these units are something else. Where is the blanket? Oh, she's getting me a blanket. Cover yourself and you won't catch a cold. You're adorable. Anyway. Uh, that will be it for this part. Uh, so
so far so good. Crazy shit be happening and um, crazy stuff be mentioning. I'm still baffled by where the hell I can look up or find out where that one puzzle for quotes unicorn is from, but I guess I'm gonna find out eventually. Some stuff seems to be like, maybe maybe it's gonna be something mentioned mentioned later or somewhere else. I mean, I had to go through some loops to figure out that stupid number for that second puzzle, but uh, I think my brain is still smoking from that one. But yeah, anyway, this is interesting so far, and uh, I am looking forward to continue this journey. But that will be in the next part. Now that I can use actually four characters, I'm gonna have to start thinking about um, which characters I'm gonna use for the time being. I'm probably gonna, for the time being, focus on at least Sonetto here and Apple, and two other random characters, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna decide that in my own time, and uh, we'll see about that next time when we, when we continue. But yeah, for now this is interesting, I am definitely, definitely, definitely looking forward to seeing where this story is gonna head to. And uh, that guy is creepy as hell. I wonder what his deal is, especially with that kind of name. But yeah, anyway, thanks guys once again. Uh, as always, uh, please leave a like on the video if you've liked it, it will help me out a lot and mean a lot to me as well. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, there's gonna be more to this Let's Play of course. We're gonna be continuing this until, well, until I'm caught up to, uh, to the story where it is now, uh, at least to the main story, and yeah, leave me... Uh, anecdotes, tips, and stuff like that, what would be interesting to look at and uh, add to this whole thing. As you see, I do like to add little little extra bits and pieces like that, uh, psalm thing and uh, so on and so forth. And yeah, if you want to support me and my channel more directly, there are memberships available as well. And as always, no video will be behind a membership. It's uh, All videos will be always available. And uh, yeah, thank you for the members who are there already and supporting. You guys are much appreciated, and yeah, I will see you all in the next part. Until then, thank you very much, and bye-bye.